You've got iron on it. Oh no! <laughs> local grocery store by us and see what kind of food they have, how much it is, how it compares to food back home, and also see if we can find any weird and interesting stuff for Chris to try. Let's take a look. Alright, so we got some fruits and veggies here. Let's see what the prices are like. So everything is labeled per, everything is labeled per kilogram, so I mean, even the onions, they're less than a dollar per kilogram, which is really good. Tomatoes, just over a dollar per kilogram. Same with the bananas. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, pomegranates. Love pomegranates. Even that's pretty good, like just over a dollar per kilogram. That's pretty good for pomegranates. So price-wise, fruits and veggies, pretty cheap, not too bad. Everything's fairly similar in price, really. Shampoo and things like that, body wash and stuff. Everything is about, what's that, about $3. So fairly similar if you can get some stuff on sale. All different kinds of bread here. Lots of flat breads because those are obviously super popular in Turkey. Um, I mean, loaf of bread, 250 lira. That's, I don't know, about 30, 40 cents, which is really, really good. All right, so we've got a whole wall of like crackers and cookies and different things like that. So let's take a look at what kind of weird stuff we have. So this is yogurt, massive, massive tub of yogurt. It is, let's see, this one here is 14 lira. So that's $2 for two and a half kilos of yogurt. I've never seen yogurt so cheap in all my life. Ooh, so this is Iran, which we tried it fresh at another place, but we haven't tried it um, like in a container like this from the grocery store. So I think Chris is definitely gonna have to try it. Also, it's one lira. So that is, yeah, like 15 cents or something. So let's get some of this. You can see lots of cheeses. Cheese is still fairly cheap as well, about three dollars for like a big length of cheese um, and this is like a very Turkish cheese paneer it's kind of like a uh, it's not like a cheese curd meets feta cheese so yeah we've had that oh my gosh oh that's not coke but <laughs> it's two and a half liters for less than a dollar that's really really good coke is just over a dollar for two and a half liters so it's super super cheap Water is extremely cheap in Turkey. You can't drink the water from the tap, so everyone buys water from the grocery store, but it's super, super cheap. Like this uh, five liter uh, jug is only three and a half lira, so it's like 50 cents for five liters of water, which is insanely, insanely cheap. Frozen pizzas and things for about $2. Tea. tea is huge in Turkey, so they've got lots of tea that you can buy um, just like loose leaf like this. That is, what's 37, about five bucks, five, six dollars for a massive thing of tea. Got some milk stuff over here, it looks like. Um, looks like, I don't know what this is, pink yogurty milk that's not in the fridge 
but is only like 50 cents. So I think we're gonna have to try that. <laughs> Oh yeah, and it looks like there's like regular stuff at the front, like at our grocery stores back home. So let's check out what kind of stuff there's there. In terms of just checking out the grocery store itself really really similar to what we would get back home some different and interesting things which we are gonna try now but other than that really really cheap which is great when you're visiting a different country like this so let's head back and let Chris try everything that I got We have all these snacks and these random things that Steph got, all for 60 lira, which is less than $10. It's crazy how much you can get for less than $10 Canadian. So let's just pick one of these things up and try it. It looks like an orange cookie. Yep, smells like an orange cookie with chocolate sprinkles on it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. They're a soft biscuit cookie with like an orange jelly in the middle and chocolate sprinkles. Pretty good. Kinder Pingul. I think this was in the fridge. It looks like an ice cream bar, but it was in the fridge. So I'm interested to see what's actually in the middle. If it's not ice cream, that's frozen. Let's see here. Hmm. Looks like an ice cream bar with like a chocolate coating on the outside. Mmm. Mm hmm. So the inside's like cream, soft cream with a chocolate outer layer. It actually, tastes really, really good. Mmm. <laughs> this one's really good. I'm gonna save that for later. Cracks, sticks, it looks like pretz, like pretzel sticks almost, a salsa flavor. Well, let's give those a try. Mmm, yeah, smells like salsa flavor. Mmm, actually really tasty. They got a nice salsa flavor to them. So I see we got an iron. Let's give it a try. So I think this is the salted yogurt drink. Oh. <laughs> All right. You can see it. It's got a milky kind of consistency and look to it. it smells like yogurt. Let's try it. Oh, that's that's salty. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little sweet. It's definitely way more salty than sweet. I'm not sure how I how I think about that. It'd be better if there was a little bit of fruit or uh, sweetness to it. This looks like a Joe Louis, like what we get back home as a Joe Louis. So this should be good. Let's give it a, let's give it a try. Looks like a Joe Louis, and let's see if it tastes like one. Mm. It's more biscuity than a Joe Louis is. It's got the cream in the center. It's more like a biscuit. 
puff or poof. Looks really coconutty on one side, so I'm interested to see what this tastes like because I do love coconut. It's like a snowball. So it's a little squishy on the top. Kind of feels like marshmallow. Let's see. Yep, that's marshmallow. Hmm. It's like coconut marshmallow though. So better than normal marshmallow. That's making me thirsty, all this food. I have some more iron. Oh God. Wish we had something sweeter. I have no idea what this is. Looks like carton milk, but it's warm. So I don't know if there's a flavor to it. It's one liter. I hope it's flavored like strawberry because it's pink. For my sake, I hope it is, but for your sake, we'll see. If it's actually cow milk, I don't know how good it's gonna be being warm and on the shelf and not in the fridge. So, let's give it a try. That's a weird smell. All right, let's do it. Yep, that's warm milk. It tastes like milk. It's like 1% warm milk. It doesn't taste off, but it's definitely warm milk. I don't know why it's not in the fridge or not supposed to be kept in the fridge on the shelf at the store, but it's not bad. Could, it would be better if it was cold. We got Amigo. Looks like uh, coated peanuts. This should be good. I love peanuts. Probably one of my favorite snacks. So this uh, should be good. You can watch me struggle to get it open. Mmm, yeah. It smells like a peanut. So it's like a coated peanut. At least I think it's a peanut. If there's something else in there, I'm in for a surprise. Ooh, I really like these. So it's a peanut with a hard coated shell with some sort of spice flavor to it. I think I've had these before back home. They literally look like pretzel sticks. It's just sticks of pretzel. You can see the sesame on them. So let's try these. Mm, yep, that's a pretzel stick. I don't know what it is. Maybe peanuts again? Yogurt covered peanuts? I'm not really sure. Let's give them a try. Nothing seems to be easy to open for me. All right, so let's pour some of these out. And let's see what we got. So I think they're chickpeas actually. Mmm, yeah. Oh wow, they're super dry. <laughs> I actually like them. Oh, I'm super thirsty. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Hotline. Mm, I think this is an energy drink. Oh God. Talk about the soda cracker challenge. I think we should do a chickpea snack challenge because those are dry. Let's try this drink out. Hopefully it's good. So it smells like an energy drink. Yep. Tastes like any energy drink that you would normally get. <laughs> oh, that's actually good. Comparable, comparable to, or sorry, compared to the milk <laughs> and the iron. Today's snowball. Looks like another, ooh, red velvet possibly, coconut uh, cupcake kind of snowball. Ooh. So that smells also really coconutty. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. So the picture is a complete lie. The picture makes you think it's red and red velvet, when in fact, it's actually chocolate. So it's a chocolate snowball. Ooh, Lavina. This looks like a fancy chocolate bar. Hmm, there's a waiver in there, or a biscuit. Hmm. 
That's actually really good. So I think there's dark chocolate on the inside and that biscuit layering on the bottom. Let's try these. They look, well, they are a pizza cracker. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm, yeah. The pizza flavor is actually pretty strong. So it tastes like a pizza chip. Mmm. That'll go good with my energy drink. And my warm carton of milk. Oh, and my salty yogurt. Steph did a great job picking out my drinks, I must say. I think we got another Kinder ice cream, non-ice cream bar from the fridge. Not freezerized. Oh yeah. So it looks like a soft ice cream sandwich kind of bar. But again, it's not in the freezer. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's the same as the other Kinder bar that it's uh, cream on the inside. This one has more of a cinnamony flavor to it though. Kind of like the other one better with the chocolate coating. These are what looks to be like pebbles. Chocolate pebbles. It's, uh, these literally look like they picked up some rocks on the road and put them in this container. Chocolate, mmm. It's like little, kind of tastes like Smarties. I have a few more things here. Wow, it's a whole pack of donuts. So we got marshmallow donuts covered in chocolate. So you get six marshmallow donuts in the pack. Ooh, smells really chocolatey. Let's uh, give it a try. Mmm. Now this tastes like a Joe Louis, like you would have back home. So this is, you got the chocolate biscuit cake with marshmallow on the top. So this looks like a cheesy, but there's peanuts on the front of the packaging. So it's a peanut cheesy, peanut flavor cheesy. Ooh, those smell like peanuts. So, yep. They look like a cheesy. They smell like a peanut. They taste like a cheesy peanut. <laughs> it's like I'm eating a cheesy with peanut butter smeared all over it. I don't know if I like it or I hate it or I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I think they're pretty good. Okay, we got three things left. So we got a Tadeli. Ooh, four things left. Oh wow, what is that? I'm gonna do this last. So we got Tadeli. Looks like a Kit Kat almost. Hmm. So it's just milk chocolate with, oh, hazelnut inside, mmm. So it's a milk chocolate hazelnut bar. That's really good, wow. Good pick, Steph. So these look like a uh, corn snack. Like a corn ball. Yep, smells like, smells like a corn snack. Looks like a corn snack. Let's have a taste. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, these taste exactly what we would have back home corn pops. Maybe like a salty corn pop. If you were to blindfold me and put these in a bowl and pour this milk in the bowl, I'd probably say I'm eating corn pops. Let me just take you a little test here. I'm gonna put it through my mouth. And it's gonna get milk. Mm -hmm. 
No, nah, that does not taste like corn pops at all. <laughs> oh, guys, no. So these are saltier than corn pops, but they're really good. Just don't have them with milk. So we got a sweet burger. It looks exactly like a pancake with strawberry cream on in the inside. This is gonna be tasty, I can already tell. <laughs> it's like a consistency of a pancake. I don't know how they do that. Mm -hmm. mm. So it actually tastes like a pancake with strawberry cream on the inside, wow. I think I have one thing left to open. It looks to me like a Kinder Surprise with a really scary face on it. Osmo. Ah, okay. So, scary face is also on the chocolate. Sorry, buddy. I have to eat you. Hmm. Very similar to a Kinder Egg. And to no one's surprise, there's a surprise inside. So, I can't read Turkish, but I can look at the photo. It looks like it's a pencil holder. Here is my pencil holder. Thanks, Scary Man Surprise. I still can't believe this was all 60 Turkish Liras, which is less than $10, for all of this food, all of these snacks, this delicious boxed milk. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed us showing you what a typical Turkish grocery store looks like and the great things they have to offer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to catch up on all of our videos and also our new videos coming out soon. I hope you enjoyed it again and I'm gonna go put this milk in the fridge so I can have it later at a normal temperature. <laughs>